Hi guys, we're just here today just setting up this new style of awning arms. Uh, just due to the supply chain uh, troubles we've had getting Dometic awning arms, we've gone to these new model awning arms. And you'll see them coming through on majority of trailers. Uh, very similar setup to the Dometic awning arms, just a few minor differences. Um, so we've just rocked up at the campsite, we've leveled our trailer, popped the roof up. Uh, as per normal, got the wheel on the back, you just have to loosen that. We've got the latch to unlock the awning arm. Do that on both ends. So you can do this by yourself, um, it's better with a friend. But, so we just latch our awning, make sure it's on the roll down position. Roll it. Roll it down. On the end of the barrel will be marked with pen line, which we'll line up, which is for when we have our handy flap kit, that's exactly where it needs to be. I always start with these on the rear of the trailer with the setup before we're standing them up when we're working by ourselves. Um, so we'll, we'll slide up our inner arm. Very much the same as the Medic, it just has a push button on the inside rather than the outside. Our handle's just covered by a cover and it also acts as a handle. We still have our lever in there. We'll lever it until we find our mark on the setup and lock it in place. We'll go down and we'll do that on the front end. The so same thing, we'll just slide the inner arm up, lock our top in. Move our leg up until it's in the, the location of the pen marks and we're good to stand it up off the trailer. So if we just lightly tighten our wheel, when we're standing it up off the trailer we don't have to battle with the weight of the awning coming down back towards us. Unclip the leg and stand it up and it'll, it'll happily stay there by itself. We can adjust that now or we can do the front one. As we pull it out, we'll get a ladder. The same thing again, unlatch, stand up, grab our trusty step. And as you can see, you'll pull the, the crossbar out until there's a mark. Now these marks are just a guideline. Obviously in the workshop we're setting up on a nice flat level surface. So potentially these lines may end up out further past than where we're set up currently. So we'll go down the back. So in this current setup, this is where we need to be to fit our anti-flap kit. And if we've got walls option of an annex, that's where we hang all our annex off. So pack up. Do it in the complete reverse of the setup. Whereas I'll start at the front and then work my way to the back. So we always have to undo our wheel before we start moving it. And we'll attach it to the trailer. Go down the back and do the same thing. Undo the wheel. Attach it to the trailer. Now we can slide these down and lower our warning up. Same thing, slide the top down. Lower our awning on. When operating the awning, when you're rolling it back up, you will always need to remember to always take a slight bit of tension off the ratchet, as it is a ratchet. You need to take it half a click around to disengage the teeth of the ratchet. Flick the switch the roll up. Now look, I'll always stop part way up just to make sure that our, our latches are up out of the way and clear because they can get jammed against the inner arm. Always make sure that our inner arm is pushed hard down because if they're halfway up, that's when we can start damaging the brackets on the awning. And just check this one, check the back, front's good. And then 
So we just latch our latch around the back, slips in the slot, and if we're travelling or heading off, we'll do our wheel back up. Pop our rope back down and we're good to go.